Now we've taken a look at how you can plan ahead mm -hmm. for, your, for your class. What happens if you just suddenly spontaneously decide you want to throw a couple of questions out to the room? Right, well we have a different piece of software that complements Classcom to do that and that piece of software is called Census and as its name suggests we're just sensing or polling or can canvassing our audience to find out their opinions about something. So in this case for instance there might not be a right or a wrong answer, I just want to know what people think about something. Um, and when we open up Census, what we get is this floating toolbar here, which I can move around anywhere on the screen and just close up and have it sitting there for as and when I need to begin asking a question. So you could be working on any page of the internet, of your, of your computer, and you can just pull that and it will just come on top of yep. what you're working on. Exactly. Okay. So if I've got a page of the internet open like here, you can see Census is always on the top. I've always got access to that tool. So I've floated the toolbar over the top of the web page and I might be wanting to ask my audience a question about what we've just read maybe on that page. So you might have read that text and I'm saying to you, do you think the statement that we've just read is a true statement or do you disagree, do you think it's a false statement? So what I do with my census now is I click spontaneous question and I say, right, the option that I'm going to choose here from all the different options that I've got, I'm going to select true or false. I then select done and that now brings when I've clicked up the Start Responding, it brings up a toolbar on my screen which allows people to vote now. So on my student handset now, with the handset switched on, then I can press either the green to say yes, I think that's true, or false, and press the red button, ah. no, I think it's false. And so the numbers of the actual handsets then appear? Yes. Because I've not created any classes, I've not put any student details in, I'm just doing a quick poll of what people think and it doesn't really matter who you are, it's, I'm more interested how many people said this and how many people said the other. So we've got those responses there, yeah. and what can you read from those responses? Do right, so what I can do now is either from the teacher handset again, using the graph option, or from the graph button on the toolbar here, it doesn't matter which one I use, depends whether I want to be flexible and move around the classroom. If I press the graph button on here, or here, then it should bring up a graph of the responses that I've been given. So two people have said they disagree, false, and one person said they'd agreed with that statement that we've just read. And then I can, like with Classcom, I can display that in a pie chart, or I can show that a handset ID. It's not naming anybody because I haven't put any students' details in there. It's just giving me a handset ID, and it's just telling me what you responded. And I, if I wish to, I can send that information off to Excel, if that's what I want to be able to do. And then I can close that come back out to there, stop responding, minimise that down and carry on with my lesson. OK. So we can use Census over the top of other applications such as Microsoft Word and we might just type a question into Microsoft Word like this and we've got four choices. We've, we've got an open-ended question again, um, which is your favourite season? So we've got the four seasons there, A, B, C or D. Those are the, the choices that we've got. So again, I go up to the top here and I go to spontaneous question and I choose from here in the drop down menu, multiple choice this time. And I say that I'm going to give you four choices and it's going to be text, do your selection and click done. And then again, start responding. So once again, we get the toolbar at the top and with our handset, when it's switched on, I say, right, which is your favorite season? Is it autumn, winter, spring or summer? Choose A, B, C or D. You make your selection and you can see the responses are appearing at the top of the screen. And what we can then do is when we bring the graph up so I can see oh, most people have chosen option B there, I can then do a right click on here and say, right, well, that's quite interesting. I'd like to save that information and do something with it. So I'm going to now copy that to clipboard so that when I minimize that down, stop responding and go back into Word, I can simply paste that graph in. So I've got the question that I wrote there and the choices and then the responses that I got pasted underneath it. So another way I could use census is with my whiteboard. It doesn't really matter what type of whiteboard I've got. I've, all, you know, I've got a whiteboard area here. So I'm going to go over to the whiteboard now and imagine again that we're just going to ask you a question. Imagine we're in a maths lesson and I'm just going to write, I'm going to select a pen from up here. And I'm just going to write on here, I want to know if you know your seven times table. So I'm going to put seven times seven equals on there. I'm just testing you out. So again, I'm going to go to my spontaneous question from here. This time I'm asking for a numeric response and you've got to give me the right answer obviously this time there isn't a choice. So click done and click start responding and again I get my response bar up at the top here 
and now I'm going to ask my students to tell me what they think the answer to 7 times 7 is. And I can see the response is appearing up at the top here, so I can see three people have now responded to my question. And then I can have a look at the graph from here, and I can see what answers I've got. So I've got 42, 47, and 49. So as a teacher, I'm thinking, oh, I think we might need to do a bit more work on our seven times table. <laughs> so that's an instant response back. I'm keeping my students involved in what's going on here. And again, will you be able to save this and, and access it later on in the, in the class? Yes, what I can do here, even though that's a spontaneous question, if I just close that down for a moment over there and stop responding, if I go back into here and review the presentation, if I click on spontaneous question there, and then click open. At any point in the future, I can go back to that screen because it was a spontaneous question that it automatically saved the response to so I can bring it back and have another look at it later on. So it might be at the end of today's lesson, I'm going to show that graph and I'm going to show another graph next to it to show the improvement that you've made. At the beginning of the lesson today, you gave me all these responses, but at the end of the lesson today, you all got the answer right. So that does show so me. So a that great way of it. involving the class in, in the, the lessons as you go. That's right, yes. It's all about involvement and integrating your students and your children in what you're doing at the frontier. All about uh, not this passive learning where you just sit back and let it all happen. I'm going to get you involved in what's going on. So I'm going to give you a handset. I'm going to ask you questions. I'm going to get your responses back and I'm going to use those as part of the teaching that I'm doing. Great.